When you think of electric cars, you automatically think Tesla, but that's changing. Founded in 2014, NIO has gained traction quickly. This electric car manufacturer, based in China, is on its way to becoming the most valuable electric car brand in the world. Let's find out 15 things you didn't know about NIO. Number 1. The Who, What, When, Where, and Why A quick answer of the 5 W's Aluxers. Who founded NIO? It was William Lee and originally it was called Next Ev. What did he launch? A quad motor supercar called the EP9. When did he launch the EP9? Back in November 2016. Where was it launched? At the Saatchi Gallery in London, UK. Its headquarters are in Shanghai, China. Why was it launched? William Lee is a business mogul. The Chinese billionaire is worth over $8.1 billion and has co-founded and invested in over 40 companies in both internet and automotive industries. With a passion for cars, Lee wanted to break into the enormous Chinese automotive industry. Now let's find out some more about the EP9. Number 2. Specs and Speeds of the EP9 the NEO EP9 broke several records after its launch. It set a new lap record at the Nürburgring Nordschleife, dubbed Green Hell. The EP9 lapped the 20.8 kilometers in 6 minutes, 45.9 seconds, officially beating the previous record and according to businesswire.com, making it out as the fastest electric car in the world. It also set the EV record set at Circuit Paul Richard in France by an incredible 2 minutes, 40 seconds. So what makes this car so special? Four high-performance inboard motors, four individual gearboxes. It delivers one megawatt of power equivalent to 1,360 PS. It reaches 0 to 200 kilometers per hour in 7.1 seconds, and it has top speeds of 313 kilometers an hour. According to carthrottle.com, the NEO EP9 will set you back $1.48 million. NEO has launched 10 models so far and we'll highlight those later. And remember to subscribe to our channel Aluxers and never miss another video. Number 3. How fast does the EP9 charge and what's the battery range? In case you're wondering what EP stands for, it's Experimental Prototype and this EP charges in 45 minutes. There's another option which will save you a lot of time and we'll tell you more about that after. This sport car has a range of 427 kilometers, and if you happen to run out of power somewhere, you have access to a rescue van with built-in chargers that will come and rescue you. Number 4. Neo is on Kathy Wood's radar. Hey Luxers, we recently published 10 Things You Didn't Know About Kathy Wood, where we highlighted some of her bold predictions. For example, her prediction on Tesla when she said, We believe Tesla should be priced in the marketplace today at $2,000, and we believe that's conservative. Our bull case is a $4,000 price target in five years. We mentioned she wasn't wrong about the price, but with the timeline. And again, her company were buying and recommending crypto back when Bitcoin was at 250. And we all know how that played out. It just hit a new all-time high above $63,000. So what does she say about NEO? In a March interview with Business Insider, she said, I've been very impressed by China's focus on electric vehicles both from an environmental point of view and a technology point of view. And she confirmed that NEO is definitely on her radar. Number 5. Battery swapping is quick, easy, and cheap. Right, so we mentioned there's an alternative to charging a NEO battery from scratch, and that's their affordable battery swapping service. Unlike electric cars where the battery is built in, NEOs have batteries that can be easily removed and replaced. According to carwow.co.uk, NEO has placed 191 swap stations in 76 cities and by the end of 2021 are aiming to have 500 stations up and running. Another advantage of the NEO having a removable battery is they're giving buyers the opportunity to buy the cars without a battery with the option to rent a battery on a monthly basis. And by now, you're probably wondering, how does the price compare to Tesla? Well, let's find out. Number 6. Models and NEO Pricing If you choose to buy a NEO without a battery, you'll pay around $10,500 less than full price. 
you can then rent a battery for roughly $150 a month. If you look at NIO's cheapest car, the ES6 SUV, basically their take on a Tesla Model Y, and you choose this option, it'll save you in the region of $7,500. Reuters.com says the starting cost of a NIO is about $58,378 without the battery, and with the battery pack at $69,000. And we've already mentioned the cost of the EP9 at $1.48 million. Number 7. NEO produced their 100,000th car and what Elon Musk says about it. Just a week ago, NEO rolled out its 100,000th car off the production line. It was a crossover called the ES8. Volume production for NEO only began in 2018 and reached 50,000 vehicles in July of 2020. So in less than a year and through COVID, an additional 50,000 vehicles is a job well done. Elon Musk congratulated NEO in a tweet by saying, Congrats to NEO, that is a tough milestone. But future productions could decrease, and here's why. Number 8. Global chip shortage could hamper efforts for increased production. According to South China Morning Post, the exponential growth that NEO have been experiencing could be hampered due to global shortage of computer chips. As quoted from William Lee, the Beijing-based carmaker may lack the semiconductor stockpile to meet its target of assembling 7,500 electric cars in the second quarter. He continued, We still face difficulties in achieving our production goal. The issue of chip shortage remains tough in the second quarter, but it will affect our production only in the near term. NEO experienced five days of zero production because of this, but they weren't the only ones affected as we'll highlight shortly. Number 9. NEO Stocks Have Soared Howard Smith, writing for Fool.com, said that NEO stocks are going to offer explosive potential gains. He points out that EV sales in China surpassed $1 million in 2020, and the government hopes to reach $5 million by 2025. Sector research organization Bloomberg Neff predicts that by 2030 it could reach $10 million and $20 million by 2040. Smith writes that NEO stock is up more than 1,000% since its period of financial struggles a year ago, but its shares are also down by more than 40% from their recent peak. Number 10. The Value of NEO It took two years from the launch of NEO in 2014 to accumulate $1 billion in investments. They went public in 2018, opening at the New York Stock Exchange with Lee ringing the bell. NEO's shares are publicly traded on the U.S. stock markets and report their financial results to the SEC. Figures reported on Investopedia.com confirm an increase of sales by 130% in Q4 of 2020, amounting to $946.2 million, of which gross profit was $163.2 million. Revenue is also generated from charging piles, internet connection services in the vehicle, and extended warranties. Furthermore, NEO's energy and services package also generates revenue for the company. Number 11. Production ceased in several car manufacturing sites. NEO wasn't the only car manufacturer that was affected by the lack of semiconductors. General Motors and Ford Motors closed their North American factories for several weeks. Recently affected are Honda Motors and Toyota Motors. CNBC.com reported that COVID has led to $60 billion in global chip shortage for the auto industry. Semiconductor chips are needed for power steering, brakes, and info entertainment systems. As reported on the site, automakers are scrambling to get suppliers of the chips, which have extremely long lead times due to their complexity. The shortage is far down the supply chain, causing a ripple effect through the entire network. Number 12 sales to begin in Europe. Well, if CEO William Lee sees his dreams become a reality, NEO President Lee Hong Kin spoke to Automotive News Europe, stating that NEO hoped to enter the European market this year. He didn't confirm which European country they would target first, but confirmed an official announcement would come in about a month's time. Despite goals to expand into Europe, competition of EVs in China has increased. 
There's Xpeng, which is a Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer, and they're already exporting to Norway. There's also iWaze, which has sent 1,000 electric vehicles to Israel and Europe this year, according to CNBC.com. Number 13. Tesla's China-made Model Y drops its retail price. Wedbush analyst Daniel Ives predicts that China could be key to Tesla's success, potentially accounting for 400,000 sales in 2022. Bring in some local competition and how does that affect Tesla? Tesla is manufacturing its Model Y EV in its Shanghai Gigafactory and began distributing the vehicle earlier in 2021. The retail price was $52,074 for the long-range version and $57,235, 30% cheaper than what they originally predicted. Seems like competition from NEO is shifting things up at Tesla. Number 14. Buying a NEO car gives you more than just a car. It also gives you access to the NEO House. NEO House, according to Innovation Everywhere, is a new showroom concept that revolutionizes the traditional automotive sector by focusing on the customer experience. These concept stores aim to build and maintain a brand community and will incorporate several different spaces. The gallery on the ground floor is accessible to the public, where you can see various models. The VIP area or club zone is located upstairs along with a lounge, forum, open kitchen, joy camp, and labs. There is a library, cafeteria, and children's playroom. Neo House is based in Shanghai and they're hoping to open more as Neo increases its footprint. Number 15. What does the future hold for Neo? A whole lot if they continue on the same path they're currently on. Follow them on Twitter and you'll see headlines like Neo and Sinopec sign strategic partnership agreement and begin operation of hashtag Neo Power Swap Station 2.0 at Chaoying Station in Beijing. Our Power North plan will deploy various power stations in eight provinces and autonomous regions over the next three years. And excited to see a new report saying it's feasible for all the U.S. to make the shift to 100% electric car and truck sales by 2035, and the impact this will have on the rest of the globe. Hey Luxers, we'll keep an eye on developments so you don't have to. Now after all of this, we're curious. Would you purchase a Neo electric vehicle? And if so, which one would you buy? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Now, you stuck with us until the end, of course, we've got a bonus for you. Neo means sky blue, and Neo is working hard with 100 designers worldwide to create a green collection. Their vision is to transform manufacturing scrap materials into environmentally friendly fashion products. According to Neo.com, vehicle manufacturing inevitably creates leftover materials, offcuts of materials for airbags, seat belts, microfiber, and genuine leather, as well as aluminum scraps. When you purchase a Neo vehicle, you can rest easy knowing you're contributing to a greener, more sustainable planet. Thanks for watching, Alexers. We value your thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more daily videos.